you're so used to, you know, when you wake up, you're so used, you know, you, all right, I've got to do a 2K erg and then I've got to go on the boat for three hours and then I've got to go to the gym and do this and there's many times that you're going to be hurting. Do you love that feeling of pain or is it still something you got to mentally coax yourself and prepare yourself? Um, I think that there's definitely weeks that are harder than others. I think on the surface, I completely enjoy this whole being an athlete and this whole rowing thing. But there's definitely weeks when um, I struggle more and definitely certain sessions even in a week when I wake up thinking, okay, this is going to hurt. I'm a bit nervous for this. Like every Wednesday and every Saturday, we often do squad pieces and the whole squad will do them and will get published results and they're always tough and they're always long mm. like four times 3k or five times 2k they're always longer in duration I definitely wake up thinking oh this is going to be bad mm. but I think um, that's also just the challenge of it and that's partly what I love and rowing put, is good at putting you under pressure every week I think mm. in that way like I mean we have a pinnacle event once a year where we're absolutely under pressure but I also feel like I'm under pressure every week and every Wednesday and every Saturday and um, I don't necessarily love being under pressure mm. but I also think um, I'm addicted to being stuck in that space yeah. and I've yeah. learned to wake up and embrace it each time that's interesting. You talk about being addicted to the to the challenge. Is that why you love rowing, or what? Yeah, what what is your why when it comes to rowing? Yeah, I always um, I always get a bit nervous when someone asks me that question because my instant reaction is I want to say my why is to win. Yeah, and I want to say that I just have this deep rooted feeling that I just want to go out and win all the time. Mm. And then there's another side of my brain that's like, you're not supposed to say that. You're supposed to focus on the process and that's not what your psychologist would want you to say. Yeah. <laughs> um, but it's not, the over, it's not just the overall win. It is um, the small wins and the small challenges. You know, I, do, I like the competitiveness and I like that three times a week I'm put in a position where my back's a little bit against the wall and I'm feeling a little bit uncomfortable and I've got to make a choice of am I going to do this the hard way or am I going to back down? Mm. And so, yeah, it's the, all those small wins. And then aside from that, I think I just love the lifestyle and I think I've always loved being an athlete. You know, I definitely value health and I definitely value fitness and I value all the friendships that I have in rowing. And I think all the people within the Rowing New Zealand building are great people and I spend three months traveling the world with them. So I think I'm here to push myself and I'm here to be competitive and I'm here to win. But at the same time, everything that comes with that is so valuable to me. Mm. Yeah, that uh, with the... Uh, motivation or the the why you know you do you, the sports psychologists will come in and and say you know process you got to make sure you you know focus on what you're doing be here right now and be present and they're all great stuff and the, and I agree with them a lot but the tent there's sometimes they come in and I felt in my career like I wasn't allowed to have outcome goals or I was I was nervous to have those outcome goals or those you know you know I don't want to admit that I want to go to the Olympics or play for New Zealand or, you know, score a hundred and all these outcome things. And so you tend to put them in, put them away. But for some people, that's for their, their motivation. And that's what gets them up to do the 2K erg times five. And, um, you know, the, or they're motivated by the fear of failure or they're motivated, you know, by not doing it. So like, I think the, you, you're motivated by a whole bunch of things. Um, mm. and so it's interesting to, to hear that you were, you know, you feel like you can't say those things because you're allowed to, it's your own motivation. It's your own, you know, personal way that you get up in the morning. Yeah, exactly. And I just, I just, when I think about it in that way, I have this thought if someone took away the opportunity for me, for me to win an Olympic gold medal, 
I, I would struggle. Mm. 